Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again. We've been doing pretty well recently, getting quite a good few completion marks knocked off. we still got some characters that are a little more spicy. Um, maybe I'll do Tainted Lazarus. I mean, with the trinkets that he starts with now, a little bit powerful, but I'm just going to give it a go. I've not played as him as in ages, but he does start out with some pretty crazy trinkets with this mod that I've got going on, as you can see. Cancer for both of them and Endless Nameless, which honestly I think the Cancer may be a little bit, little bit crazy, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll take good old Gemini, and do you know what, I'll take our uh, Glitter Bombs as well, why not? Um, yeah, a little bit crazy, but honestly on a character that I have so many issues with, I kind of like it. Also, yeah, we get Endless Nameless here as well, which is pretty decent. Endless Nameless, I think is pretty fitting for this character and is a is a decent buff. Um, I actually really like having Gemini here for that. That was, that was very, very nice, actually. That was very nice. Oh, dude, Petrified Poop this early. Um, obviously, Endless Nameless is better. But Petrified Poop early on, um, when we're actually able to take some advantage of it, I like that. So let's uh, let's keep it for this floor, and then we'll pick Endless Nameless back up again uh, later on. But for this floor now, we'll uh, we'll use this. We've got another item room here, because this is an XL floor, so we'll try and uh, make as much use as that as we can. Boom. Oh, that was a perfect little shot there. I tried, I tried to play that to make sure it hit the other enemy, and it did. It was very satisfying. I think I'm starting to get a little bit of a sore throat. I don't know if it's because I've been recording a lot today or if it's because my girlfriend's ill and I'm slowly but surely getting it. It's probably more than likely the uh, the issue here. Uh, I'm not going to... Do you know, I, don't, I, don't even, I was just about to say I don't even know why I did that and I ended up getting a crawl space. So I'm reasonably happy that I did. Uh, right, let's quickly check this out. What we got going on down here? Hmm... Okay, we got Bravery plus, I think that was Bell Clapper. Uh, let's let's get another charge here um, and see what we want to do with it. I want to switch over before I take um, the Burn Heart there. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't like this. Okay, got another charge. Right, okay, so we need to, to make some decisions here. So, first of all, item room is more important. Uh, let's actually grab the Burn Heart now as well. Um, yeah, I bombed that thing and think for the red heart, and then actually was like, no, that was a mistake, and then I got the crawl space. So, hmm. Right. Item room first. Even if we just get bravery, I'll be pretty happy. Bravery's pretty good. Um, we'll see how this goes. Right. Item room, what do you hold for us? What, what secrets do you hold? Okay, unfortunately, you hold nothing. Um, so, the... Band of Regeneration is good, but I'm not willing to flip for it. So I guess I'm just going to take the poop, and then I've got Petrified Poop in my back pocket. So I'll stick with that instead of Endless Nameless on this dude, I guess. It's kind of an interesting way for this to, to work out, I guess. Extra little bit of stuff. I like it. Uh, I don't know what happened to that red heart there. And I guess we'll go for the... Um, we'll go for the Bell Clapper and Bravery down here, I guess. Um... If it was Bell Clapper, I don't know what the other item actually was. I didn't really get a good enough look at it to know. Um, oh, God. Oh, and it's Willow. Yeah, I'll take Willow. Willow's really good. Okay, th this guy's our familiar guy. We've got a lot of familiars going on with him. Um, but Willow's really good. I actually think Willow is, uh, is a very, very good familiar to grab. Uh, we'll try and get some more um, thingies going on here. Some more charges. We'll see how it goes. But you can see that Willow just did a great job of killing all those guys. It does contact damage and it shoots at them. I like that a lot. Uh, so, do, can I run into these? So, so what, what's this about? Why am I able to collect hearts with this guy? Is there something that I don't know about going on here? Is that... Oh, wait, no. Is it? Is it the poo? Is it the, the where the poop can turn into the black poo? That's, that's decent enough, I guess. We might actually be able to get another charge here. Now, there's a there's a lot more rooms left in this XL floor than I anticipated. Which is kind of nice, I guess. Yeah, should be able to do a pretty good job of killing these guys pretty easily. It's kind of a little bit of a treacherous room here, especially with the uh, the mini monsters. Mini monsters aren't really that bad. It's just that they, they move quite sporadically. Any enemy that hippity hops around... I always find a little bit trickier. 
What do you guys think is the hardest enemy in Isaac? And ask the question of the day, what's the hardest enemy you've come across in a game? What's, what, like, not boss or anything, but what's the hardest single enemy you've come across in a video game? I think that's an interesting question of the day. Because again, depends on what sort of games people play. For me, it's definitely got to be some of the enemies in Elden Ring. I don't even know if I can specifically pin one down, but there's a few of them that are goddamn just incredibly annoying. One of them is like this um, iron lung sort of thing. I was, not iron lung, uh, what they're called. Um, like uh, Iron Maiden, is it? Is that what they're called? Um, one of them looking sort of things that kind of captures you and them things can absolutely mess you up. And then it, I think if they kill you as well, they teleport you to the, another area that's like way more dangerous. It's it's kind of messed up how how difficult they are. I'm gonna put this down while I've got glitter bombs as this character. See if I get anything for it. And we'll pop that open, dude. We this floor's been really good. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. This floor's been really good to us. This is a good start. And yeah, I know, like I said, cancer's maybe a little bit powerful but i don't mind because these characters make me want to cry so i'm glad for the buffs Ooh, ooh, okay so we're obviously getting birth right here right uh I, I can't remember how this works do i i'm gonna i'm gonna rewind if this goes wrong but i'm pretty sure if i buy cherry bomb i can then get birth right yeah nice one honestly Getting Birthright as this guy, just honestly, just so goddamn incredible. And to get it on the first floor, I feel like whenever I play this character, I end up getting Birthright. But um, I did actually want to get, uh, what's it called as well, uh, Cherry Bomb. Because it's an item that I used to really underrate. And it's actually really good. I don't even know what happened there, but I'm, I'm happy about it. Yeah, Cherry Bomb's pretty good. Bit of speed up there. It's literally just a reusable bomb that you can throw at stuff. It does have a bit of danger associated with it. Oh, God. Surprised I didn't get hit there, I'll be honest. I can't remember if it blows up walls. I'm almost certain it doesn't. Take a bit of that. Let me just try that out. Oh wait, I've not I've not got the right character here, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, that was a very, 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 very successful first floor. Uh we probably want to go. Ooh, this is kind of tricky because Light Path is the obvious choice here. Let's let's try Light Path Bosh Rush Hush. If we can make that work, that'd be pretty nice. Starting out with an XL floor definitely helps with boss rush and such. Um, in terms of timing. At the minute, my biggest worry is uh, my current HP on this character. My other character's fine, but this one's a little iffy. But yeah, as with our birthright, we do a little bit of extra damage with the other character, but it main the main thing is it leaves some items enabled for us. Um, like Willow. It means that Willow's always doing stuff. Thank you, Willow. I'll leave that. Thank you. You guys are a little bit tricky. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a bit of a sore throat, I think, which is a bummer, because I didn't think I was going to get ill. Uh, I'm going to leave that for now. Come back in a second for it. Okay, that didn't work the way I was hoping it would. Thank you, Willow. I didn't go about this the way I should have done either. Oh, come on now. Just getting annoying. Right. Deep Pockets was not expecting that. I'll take it. Lovely extra item there that, yeah, exactly, that I was not expecting. Okay, health is looking way more positive now. I like that a lot. Uh, hopefully we can find that item room, as well as say, here, so we don't have to waste too many charges on Flip. I really like the fact that it keeps our familiars doing damage on our other character when we've got Birthright. Because they feel just wasted otherwise. It means that all of our items can still sort of do stuff for us. Okay, so here we're getting Chastity, which is actually fine. Chastity is just damage up regardless. Um, and then we also get Peppermint, which is really goddamn good. Um, we'll pop through here and get yet another crawl space going on here. Um, and this is a black market crawl space, which I was not expecting. Um, so we'll take a little look at what we want to do here. We've got Mother's Love and Blue Map, which is 
of the items in here, probably the one that I want. Um, although, I'll, I have to admit, right now, I'm not particularly enthused about uh, buying that. I mean, we need more... Uh, we need more charge first anyways, so it's not something we can consider yet, regardless. But let's continue on and actually see if we get enough charge, because we might not even get enough here. But we'll see. Okay, this is a room that's annoying. I'm really glad to see that Peppermint is uh, doing its good work, as always. Uh, I'll leave that for now. Cherry Bomb. I, do, I, can't, I still can't tell if it destroys rocks. It wasn't close enough then for me to know, really. Do that. We'll take checks. See what we're going on in here. Um, get a powerful demon that aggressively charges at enemies, slightly dragging the player. The card can break when the player takes damage, allowing it to move freely. Sounds annoying as hell, but interesting. Uh, why can't I? Hmm. I'm not sure why I can't grab that. I know it's reflected, but that shouldn't mean I can't grab it. Let's try switching over to my other version and see if I'm then able to grab it. That's that's very weird. Why isn't this guy moving either? Thank you, Willow, for taking care of that annoying enemy for us. Solving some problems. Thank you, that, for doing your thing. Right, let me just quickly... Oh, I didn't realize that I skipped a room here. Hey, dude. Nice. I think I'm just kind of locked out of, of grabbing this, which is annoying because I kind of want it. <laughs> but the game says no. The game says no. Right, what time are we on? We're on nine minutes at the minute. We're doing okay. okay. Uh, let's grab ourselves this. We'll see if we get an angel deal actually before we go flipping the, um, the thingy challenge room. Right, so let's go in here. Now, this isn't really the, the character we want to be playing as when we fight bosses, to be honest, but it's fine. Like I said, with, with Birthright, it doesn't really matter as much. It still does matter which character you're actively playing as, because that's the character you get full damage on, but it's it's not as devastating as it is uh, when you get none of the item's effects. Okay. So, with that, we did get an Angel deal, so this is... We get... Oh, this is kind of crappy. Um, I'll still take it anyways with the old bell. We've already done Mega Saiyan, so we don't need to worry about that. Take that. We'll try and get a little bit extra going on here. Dude, the money is rolling in right now. Deep Pockets is paying out. Okay. Fetch five poop. Not paying out so much. Right, so what was it? It was, um... It was blue map and something else, but I can't remember what the something else was. I'll definitely take blue map at least. I might not be able to flip to, uh, to get the other thing. Unless there's a battery charge in the shop, I guess I should check that out. And I'm taking... <coughs> Taking time here that I probably shouldn't be. Um, bomb. There's a battery charge in here. Let's buy the battery charge then. Okay, let's go. Quick sticks game. Quick sticks. Can I can I grab this yet? I can. Okay, good. Unfortunately, I've uh, trapped myself in a situation where I can no longer. Wait. Okay, got it. Good, right, okay. Back this way. I'm taking way too long on this floor, but it's fine. Right, um... want to go over here. We want to use this character to grab this, which is... Yeah, we're in a good position here. Soul Heart from you, maybe? That'd be lovely. Nah. Okay, so we want to grab... This with you. Blue map, yes. Then we flip. And we get to grab this, which is nice. This also gives us a Soul of Lilith, which is lovely. In which we get Sword of Light, which is a pretty decent familiar. Um, and then we come back and we grab the other version of the Fetal Demon. Which is going to be horrible, because we're going to get dragged around like crazy, I reckon. But 
I'm, I'm kind of on board for this, I'll be honest. I'm kind of on board. Let's place a bomb there. Get that sorted. Come in here. What? I'm really annoyed I can't grab this. What's the item called? The Basilisk. Give... There you go. We've both got a Basilisk now. It's definitely a bug that I can't grab that. Soul heart for use, lovely. Great. Nine lives? Yeah, I'll take nine lives for you, why not? Puts our health a little bit riskier, but it's fine. Go over to second secret room. Yeah, I'm really taking my time on this floor here, which I've realized for Botrus is not a good idea, but... I'm really curious to see if my two fetal familiars, like, double pull me now. Hello. Uh, this is one of my rooms, actually, I think. Um, so you've got to uh, bomb this. No, it's a bomb across. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Grab all the money. And then you do that. Yeah. One of my cooler rooms. I actually um, updated my mod recently to increase... It was I doubled the chance for my secret rooms to show up, which they're still very, very rare, but basically I've made it because... Almost everyone plays with Fiend Folio, some sort of room mod on nowadays. Those rooms are insanely rare. So I basically kind of fixed that. Yeah, we don't have a key right now. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I wonder if we could get double pulled now because of our double fetal familiars. Check out what's going on in here. Keys there that we can't grab right now. Um, it's a bit of a shame, whatever. Whatever. Hey, there's a key. Good, good. We'll do library first. Three libraries. Okay, let's not take any of those yet because we want to be able to flip in that room. We're having a lot of flaws that are very much giving us a reason to go back and forth right now, which is slightly annoying. Very nice. Nice cherry bomb there, did some work. Cool, we've got flip ready. Probably gonna change out both of our actives at this point. So we've got... Bedtime Story. We've got Book of Belial. And we've got Book of Virtues. Okay, Book of... that's good. And then we'll flip these and go with... Book of Cosmos. Book of Sin. And... I can't remember what this book does, to be honest. Let's let's just see. Plus two keys and pick up requires a key to unlock and use. Cripples all enemies. Crippled enemies lose their speed over time for 12 seconds. Has special synergy with key trinkets. Eh, it seems a little overcomplicated for my small, small brain. Um, so I'm just going to leave that for now. Justice. Right. Didn't mean to take that uh, thingy heart there. There you go. Um, let's quickly bomb through here. Got lucky there. Got voids. I would like to use both of these at some point. Oh, wait, actually, dude. 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 <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Just an alarming amount of stats in there. Okay, have we seen item room yet? No, we haven't. Good. Grab the keys. This is a very, very good run. I'm sure we can actually make boss rush. We've been, just been fannying about so much. Quickly before we go in here, let's do another room so we get another charge. And 
then we've got whatever this is. Hey, it's Ultra Flesh Kid. Fuck yes, Midas Touch is whatever. But Ultra Flesh Kid, we've we've seen him before. We know him to be beautiful. We know him to be the most gorgeous creature on the earth. Flesh Kid. There you go. Right. Boss time. We're playing as the best character to do the boss, the one the most damage. Marvelous stuff. We actually ended up getting perfection, which I will take. We don't have a flip available for the angel deal, which I wasn't aware of. We did get the punishment of the grave, though, which is decent enough. Um, we'll also go for a bomb here. And a bomb here. Good enough for me. And we will carry on on our way. Okay, good stuff. Very good floor there. A little bit annoyed to have lost out on an angel deal flip. That could have been something good, but it's fine. Right, this floor, I kind of want... These two floors, in fact, I kind of want to speed through as quickly as we can. What we got here? Dusty D10. No, thank you. I will buy that, though. Thank you. Fires will hopefully freeze these guys. If they ever decide to pop up, goddammit. Should have tried to use that bomb there. One well, 16 minutes at the minute. We've got time. More so about if we find the item room quickly enough or not. Blue map does help in directions, dude. You've got to give me enemies that just fucking piss about. What are you doing? Oh, fuck off, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I hate these goddamn enemies. What's it doing? It's just... Nah, I'm just going to lay back and not do anything. Also, yeah, getting rooms like this doesn't help either. My goodness. Spin down is obviously the one we want here. Right, keep it moving. My other lad got caught up somewhere, I don't exactly know where. Honestly, my demon babies dragging me around has really not been that much of an issue. I really thought it was going to be way bigger of a problem. It's just not been. Okay, freezing that guy helps. Ooh, dude, I love these... The fact that we're getting these chests everywhere. Okay, here's this, at least... Oh, dude, I lost perfection because I got too greedy. God damn it. Got nothing worth buying in there. Tough love I'll just take. Shoot the weep I don't care for. Right, unfortunately, timing-wise, we're not doing good. We, we ought to have been out of this floor by now, really. We need to have gone the right way here, and obviously we haven't. 18 minutes is really the absolute latest. Oh, did I get two luck pennies here? Very nice. The golden key, it is. Okay, we have gone the right way now at least. We are ma making it to the boss at 18 minutes, so we're almost there. My flesh kid. Good, good. Remember, we've got a spin down. We should really be checking that whenever we can. Don't know how I didn't take damage there. How are you not dead, dude? While this guy's rolling, I think he has, like, a damage resistance or something. Okay. Breakfast spins down into nothing useful. Oh, dude. Okay, so we get um, another one of these swords for you. And the Sacred Heart for you. So that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, down we go. Now with Sacred Heart, we should actually be pretty quick here. So this is... I don't even care if we miss item room now. Uh, this is like speedy Gonzalez mode. 
Because we can easily beat Boss Rush here. I don't really care if we take damage. This is all just get the hell out of here as fast as we can sort of mode. Fortunately, not what I was looking for. Take the random. It wasn't what I wanted. Dude. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. The, uh, the thinking secret room baited me. Can we not have bombs on the doors, please? I lost one of my books, but yeah, it's, it's just whatever. More libraries. Dude, game is giving me, like... I didn't mean to flip there at all. This is so annoying. The, the game's just giving me the best things ever when I need to be gone. Boss Rush is more important. Keep going. We can do this. We can do this. Right. We are going Light Path. Good, good. Yeah, we missed out on some really good stuff on that last floor, but whatever. <sighs> I like the way the D7 just spins down into, like, crap as well. Maybe this monster suite spins down to something better. I have no idea what it spins down into, but I'm going to do it anyways. Eh, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, all of that didn't really... On this floor, I didn't really go the way I wanted it to, but the fact that we made Boss Rush kind of makes me feel a lot better about it. Also, it's fun to get both of these bosses in one go here. I like that. Cool. God damn, my, my boys be dragging me around a lot right now. Okay, we got Steven again, of which... Steven's weird now. Yeah, Steven's... Steven's on the ceiling again. To be honest, I don't really get that with Steven, but... Seems like a very odd rework, but it's thematic for the uh, other games he's in, so I guess it's cool. Yeah, we completely messed up our books, and we could have done some really interesting stuff with that library, potentially, and there was... Cards in the corners, there could have been teleport cards. I mean, there's, there's, there's better ways I could have played this, but... It, life is what it is. I'm hoping Flesh Kid uh, gets uh, nice and leveled up in this room, because normally Boss Rush you end up getting quite a few hearts just via playing it. One second. Sat at a weird angle. I need to just reseat myself sort of thing. It's still not ideal. One second. Oh my god, it's just, I need to stand and reset. There you go. Hello, Cramparina. But yeah, we have we have very good damage and stuff now. With both characters, actually. I mean, obviously it doesn't really matter because we've got Birthright. But regardless, both characters are, are doing rather well. And one character just has Herming all the time, which helps a ton. And we are just killing things at rapid speeds. Hello, good old Kidge. And I like the fact that we got this um, B thing. I can't remember what the actual name of the item's called, but that spin down, while not perfect, was good. Did I just accidentally lose a burn heart there? I think I did. Hey, Flesh Kid has leveled up once at least. I don't reckon we're going to get another level up from him in the boss rush, but we're at least going to get close. I don't want to use my uh, pill here in case it's a teleport, like a telepills. So that would be pretty devastating. My god. This is beautiful. All of y'all taken care of. We are slightly misaligned here. I, I will try and realign our guys whenever I can. But I think it's our, our, our little tuggy demon boys are gonna always sort of misalign us. Flesh Kid can... I kind of wish Flesh Kid did what uh, Darkbomb did and actually sort out the hearts rather than just having them suck towards him. Because 
becomes a bit of a nuisance when he's just like ignoring a heart completely and running away from it. I suppose it means he prioritizes combat, I guess. It's not a terribly bad thing. I'm liking the uh, icy fires, even though they don't freeze bosses, they do block shots still, so they're still highly valuable. Flesh Kid, grab that heart before I change my mind and run somewhere else. You're nice and toasted, my guy. I think because I've been hit, actually, one of my demons is roaming free now. I don't, th I don't think both of them are, but one of them definitely is. Flesh Kid, can you, again, get that heart before it... Okay, I think he got it there. I think he got it. Unfortunately, we do still have to fight Kingpin in uh, Boss Rush. We can't get away from him here. We did get ourselves whatever this is. Doesn't have a mirrored version, sadly. Okay, hollow ground. It's whatever. It's good for uh, for bosses like Hush, so... Yeah, I'm reasonably happy with how that went. I just wish I had a teleport card to, to zoom myself out of there, but... I wasn't paying enough attention. I am glad with the fact that we got an XL floor here, though. That, that saves some time on Hush. Oh, dude. I'll be honest, I don't... What the fuck's going on? Oh, he's not frozen. He's Midas touched. Well, that's confusing, isn't it? <laughs> I got really, really confused as to, like, why that enemy was hitting me then. But yeah, I thought he was frozen. He wasn't. He was Midas touched. We are going to need some keys, unfortunately. We are all out of keys, which I don't really know how that happened, to be honest. Flesh Kid's going strong. I'll be honest, I don't reckon we are going this way, but we've got plenty of time and we're on an XL floor, so we don't need to rush now. I'd actually kind of like to spend some time trying to make sure Flesh Kid comes to full fruition. We've got a Hedonist Cookbook doing some good work on occasion. An item for the gods. Two of spades is two keys at least. We can only hold a maximum of five keys, I think, with chastity. So we are a little bit out of sorts for keys in a way. Hedonist cookbook still being goddamn amazing. One of the best books in modded Isaac. Cyanide, I don't think I'm going to take those cyanide pills. Thank you, game. Hey, okay, we're looking good for keys more so now than we were prior. Oh, dude, freezing the enemies so they have no chance to, uh... No chance to reform or anything is very, very nice. Okay. We're up to five keys. That's not, obviously, seven that you need for Hush, but it's enough to actually see the items. I had, I had a feeling this wasn't the right way, but like I said, it's not a big deal. Card is devil. I guess I'll hold on to the devil card. There's no there's no harm in it. And we'll actually try and go the right way. Normally, second secret room is a pretty good indication of where you're meant to be going, so you want to kind of head towards that. But the game can trick you a little bit with its location sometimes. Some, sometimes it's, it's very on the money as to where you should be going. And actually, I'd say like 80% of the time. And sometimes it's just like, nah, <laughs> lol. We got the D20, which unfortunately doesn't really do much for us. Gotta say, this room is goddamn stinking horrible. Nah, 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 nah. This room's fucked. I can't shoot that other dude over there. Let me get a bomb in there. Yeah, this is horrible. What, what the actual hell is this room? Designed in a way where you you simply cannot shoot over the other side of that guy. I can get six keys. I need that heart. Doesn't matter, you've, you've taken it now. I thought I could only have five keys. Maybe it's because of the characters I'm playing as. There's some wacky stuff. Very much do not, do not like this room. 
I don't even know what's left at the moment. Like, oh, it's you. Hello. I'd like to fill up this burn heart, but I don't know if that's going to happen. My demon boy is dragging me around is uh, certainly not ideal. We're up to seven keys now, at least. He is good. We are in 25 minutes, so we've still got plenty of time to go. Normally, if you beat Boss Rush, you're basically guaranteed to get to Hush. Dude, he keeps flipping character at the wrong time. My goddamn meaty boy. My Ultra Flesh Kid keeps taking stuff right as I'm about to grab it in terms of red hearts. Just, I like him growing strong and stuff, but I, I, I would like some for myself. Right. Double bosses. Um, I will indeed just do an extra room so that I can take that. Freezing. There you go. Yeah, now I can actually take this and it'd be valuable to me. In fact, I can use it to annihilate the boss. Oh, what the hell? Managed to get a hit on me there. Wasn't expecting that. Did get a devil deal here. I'll check it out at least. Doubt I'll want anything in it though. Yeah, don't want any of that. Toy Piano is good, but my health is pretty low right now. I'm not particularly enthused by uh, risking my HP for that. We do have seven keys, so we can grab everything here. Agent Recall is probably good for before the fight. Soul Heart there is very nice. More damage is very, very nice. We also get a rune, which... Can't remember what that does. Mysterious Liquid is the only one I actually care about there. So I don't, I'm not going to use Flip. And then in here... I will take both the Balloon and the Booster. Although, now thinking about it, I'm a little annoyed at myself for flipping there because shouldn't have done that. So I'm hoping there's a... But each one of these gives me a damage down as well. Mm. Don't don't carry too many keys. That's very nice. Okay, battery charge is here. Make sure we grab that. Um, and flip ourselves now. Yes. Wait. No. Grab this first. Flip ourselves. Grab this. Grab this. Grab this. Grab this. Right, see so what we've got going on here. So, world doesn't matter. Hangman's what it doesn't matter. Um, Joker here does matter for later. Not right now. Devil will take for the fight. Hopefully, we'll get double Joker from Endless Nameless. Nah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Now we just continue. Kind of wish that I got the booster pack as this guy, but... Oh no, booster pack still works. Okay. Good to see. Okay, my, my, my demon boy is dragging me closer. I'm hoping he delatches at some point soon, because otherwise that's going to get real annoying real fast. Had to destroy that machine just to get it out of the way. Yeah, I kind of need my boy to delatch my demon, because otherwise he's going to keep me locked in. Um, to the boss at all times, which is going to be a massive pain in the ass. We should be fine here, though. I expect we're doing very good damage. We'll get a booster packs on occasion. I don't believe booster packs can trigger teleport cards during major boss fights. So we shouldn't see anything problematic happen with booster pack for the most part. I can't guarantee it won't, but... The minute we're just getting bloody wheel of fortunes. More keys. <sighs> Demon boy, you can't be dragging me right now. Let, 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 let's get you off of him while we dodge this. Don't want you dealing damage to him right now. I don't want anything outside of my control moving me around while I'm dodging these shots. Yeah. 
That's all fine and dandy. And we're going light path here, so... We don't want to use the black market joker yet, yeah, because that'll take us down. You can't go up from the black market. We want to use that after killing Isaac on the next floor. Actually, I don't know. I don't actually know how it's going to work, you know. I'm just not going to use it just in case. It seems risky. Careful of the lasers. It's fine. Okay, well, we've got him. He's basically dead. We did take a little bit more damage there, but hey her. Is my Flesh Kid fully leveled up now? So Lazarus unlocked, lovely. Okay, Flesh Kid is leveled up now. Does he still eat hearts at this point? I don't think he does. Okay, so we do have um, the Polaroids. We'll go up. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. We want to be going down by the looks of things here. Now our biggest concern is just the amount of HP we have across our characters. It's not ideal. Don't know what this is. Oh, okay. Interesting to, to see. Not like we need this money at all, so I'm just going to leave. It keeps, it keeps happening next, like, in future rooms. That's cool. I didn't realize it'd carry across rooms. Dude, it just keeps going. What the fuck? Did I, did I bug this? This is just, it just keeps going, my god. Okay, no, it's finally stopped. That was kind of crazy, that. We got mapping. Nice. Eternal heart there's lovely. Making our way very quickly through all this. We'll uh, double bomb these. key there. We don't need that. Just going to lower our damage on our other dude. Hey, we need a half soul heart for him. He's struggling a little bit. If there's any health in here, make sure to leave it. Nah, it's just a void chest. They are very cool, but require health we do not have. We keep getting fortune cards, goddammit. it! They must be like really common or something. This item. Okay. Little bit tricky here. In fact, let's recorrelate. A hey, another eternal heart. I'll come back for that. Actually, no, it doesn't matter because I've already got one of them on the other character. I might as well take it for this. Right, boss shouldn't be too bad here. Demons are uh, dragging us around as always. Second phase is coming in pretty fast. Lovely. Well, that was... That was not how he normally does that attack at all. That was very confusing. But luckily, he only did it once. Didn't cost us much. Right. I think we are good for the next floor now. Good, good. Wow. Some hot garbage right here. And we are heading up, so we'll head this way. Oh, we have flight with this guy. I kind of forgot about that. We got the horsey. Don't want reverse the tower, thank you. But it did give us a damage up for being a quality zero item. Same with that. We've got two damage ups there. That's kind of nice. And we actually got the gift card, which allows us to do this and get wavy cap. <laughs> yeah, that's the item I'm looking for, baby. Okay, this is definitely a room where we want to use this. That was probably one of the best uses of that I've ever seen. Cursed dice. Not necessary. Good, but not necessary. I think we're heading in the right direction here. Oh, dude, Judgment can spawn those. That's very, very worth knowing. 
I did not know judgment could spawn those judgments. It must be very rare, because that's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Unless it, like, requires another item before it can happen. I, I really don't know, but still. Don't know really how I got hit there, but it's fine. Devil. Heading up towards what should be the obvious boss. Should just end up dying via whatever. <gasps> Good old fruit cake. My god, I love fruit cake. Best item in the game. Don't know how I didn't get hit there. Yeah, we did find the boss nice and easy thanks to second secret room. Always a lad. How did I not get to take damage there? I'm just going to quickly check out second secret room in case there is anything super spicy in there. Nope, I mean, that is slowing at least. I'll, I'll take it. Probably should have done that a little later in the fight once... Um once his boss armor had run out, but whatever. Either way, I think we've got a nice quick and easy kill here. Let's see if we get delirium. Let's do this burn thing. I think we're in final phase now. Not quite, not quite. There you go, now we are. Got a bomb on him just to show him what for. At this point, I don't really know where his tears are, so I will see if I get hit or not. There you go. Nice. No delirium, unfortunately, but a fun run nonetheless. I hope you guys did enjoy that one, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.